The Chinese Art of Cloisonne. Cloisonne may be a distinctive combination of copper and ceramic ware operating skills, ancient painting, sculpting, and etching skills. Originating in piping throughout the dynasty 1271-1368, Cloisonne. Cloisonne is a unique combination of copper and porcelain working skills, traditional painting, sculpting, and etching skills. Originating in piping throughout the dynasty 1271-1368, Cloisonne is associate degree complex method that needs a few years of coaching for associate degree journeyman to master. Cloisonne items will be found in massive objects, like V. Cloisonne underwent a serious amendment throughout the dynasty around 1426 to 1456 once a blue enamel wad discovered, which provides Cloisonne its attractive look, and is still used today. Ming Dynasty Cloisonne is Syrianced the most intricate. ASES and alternative massive utensils and ornamental things, as well as small items like earrings, bracelets, chopsticks, or jars, he making of a masterpiece tea when visiting China, make certain to go to a cloisonne manufactory. It's an experience you won't soon forget. Cloisonne needs several hours of painstaking labor, and Chinese artisans have down pat the whole method. It's wonderful to observe every of the artisans in deep concentration making these lovely items. Step 1, Cloisonne Design. The first step in making one in all these lustrous Cloisonne items is to make the planning. Artists draw the planning on a chunk of paper, that is then by manual off to succeeding journeyman within the method. Step 2, Base Hammering. In this step, copper sheet square measure beat into associate degree enamel piece, whether or not it's an oversized jar or a little bracelet. The seam square measure sealed with copper solder then the piece is placed into a stove to weld it. This is a long step and should be done absolutely to attain the required impact. Step 3, Copper Wire Curving. Unbeknownst to the general public, cloisonne isn't created of one piece of enamel. It is created rather than tons of, and typically thousands of little copper wires affixed to the copper base. Workers form a little red copper wire to form the planning because the designer has taught. These little, complex styles will be birds, flowers, or any of many alternative styles of styles. The wires are attached using small tweezers and pliers. The copper wires are then pasted on the surface of the copper body. Then another employee puts solder between the red copper wire and therefore the red copper body. The piece is then placed within the stove wherever the copper wire's square measure welded onto the bottom. Step 4, Enamel Filling. When cooled, employees polish the piece then fill within the wire style with enamel materials in step with the color style. Workers sit ahead of a table employing a little suction pipe to suck the enamel from the colored dishes into the pipe. After filling the wires with enamel, workers absorb any remaining moisture with cotton. The piece is then put in a kiln for the first firing. During the firing process, the enamel shrinks. So once cooled, workers fill with more materials and fire again. This entire process is repeated three times until the enamel completely fills the copper wires. Step 5, Polishing. The final step in this involved process is polishing. Workers use rock to shine the cloisonne till it's terribly sleek. They even up the color enamel material with the copper wire. If there are places where the enamel doesn't quite match evenly with the copper wires, more enamel is added and the piece is fired again. The polishing process will begin again. Then a soft yellow stone is employed to grind off any larger imperfections. Charcoal is employed last to grind the piece to a high refulgence. Creating the gorgeous cloisonne pieces we see today takes time, patience, and ingenuity. Regardless of the kind of cloisonne piece that you simply have, together with trays for your favorite gourmand chocolates, it's bound to add beauty and class to your home or office.